Over the past decade, Taiwan has lost 43 firefighters in the line of duty. Lawmakers say that robots should be used more widely to fight fires in order to save human lives. At a Wednesday press event, DPP lawmakers urged the central government to provide robots and drones to all fire departments. They said the funding should come directly from a special budget or be earmarked from the forward-looking infrastructure plan. Just last month, a fire at a Pingdong golf ball factory caused hundreds of casualties, including four firefighters who died in the line of duty. The toll of the disaster was massive due to a large supply of chemicals at the site. Lawmakers are pressing for the greater use of firefighting robots to protect human lives. The floor plan provided by launch technologies wasn't complete. In particular, it did not clearly identify the presence of chemical substances. So we want to urge the government to fully equip firefighters with robots and drones. That's what we're asking for today. We hope to pass amendments to the Toxic and Concerned Chemical Substances Control Act. Launch technologies stored an amount of chemicals that exceeded the safety limit. This led to the explosions, which caused firefighters to lose control of the situation situation and ultimately their lives. The lawmaker called for swift revisions to the Chemicals Management Act. He also urged more training for rescue personnel. Launch Technologies had kept 3,000 kilograms of organic peroxides at the factory, exceeding the economics ministry's limit by 300 times. The National Fire Agency's budget shouldn't be drafted year by year. A budget should be allocated directly. This could come out of the special budget or the fifth installment of the forward-looking infrastructure plan. We need to give firefighting units all the necessary equipment they lack, especially the equipment that legislator Wu Qiming mentioned earlier, disaster mitigation technology. We need to fully equip them in one go. Over the past decade, 43 firefighters have died in the line of duty. The government is urged to fully equip fire departments, giving priority to units in industrial areas to protect more human lives.